Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Echo B Season 7. I have struck quite good Iron Badge and it's in very unique location. It's right under the big road. And what is interesting about it is that it has so many layers. So you can see all the way from the roof there and it goes underground. And I'm not sure how many, which is the deepest, this one. How many more levels there is wow seven more layers so it's quite a lot it's, yeah like 15 layers of iron on top of each other because whenever i was looking for iron on my side over here i always got like single layer if even that and it was a little bit annoying like here just a single one and i'm quite sure after that there is maybe a few more pieces and that's it let's see okay it goes five pieces in and then it's back to sandstone and oh yeah then we have this batch coming out <laughs> so yeah it hasn't been the best on most of the area and it seems to be nicely concentrated here of course, this part belongs to Sov, so I cannot mine it out. So I might need to ask him if it's anyhow possible that he mines it out and sells it or whatever. Anyway, I will take whatever I mined now away and we can carry on with some other things I have planned. So. First of all, I did uh, take a new skill, which will be which was smelting, mainly because well, I didn't make any profit just crushing stuff, and also because well, uh, there was quite big price difference between the concentrate that I was selling versus. Uh, what it was actually needed for because well the iron has been expensive so even now the prices are going down but most prices are still like around two dashed has i mean the mass that is has uh, 1.5 i used to have one overnight but because everyone still is so high i did raise a little bit to 1.2 I think it's kind of okay because regardless of that I will still make profits quite a bit and yeah when buying there are quite few places who buy for like 1.5 or above so it's all good I also make iron pipes so those well many well Dan is kind of excluded because he's playing with the prices very strange way but like Majority is like selling for even over three or two. So us being 1.5, it's it's totally fine. And overnight, all my pipes were all sold. So, so I'm totally happy with that. Let me let me move them to the correct stockpile so so they take less less space. I might need to start considering getting some type of containers. Seems that we don't have containers at the moment available. Sad. Maybe later. Have to see. And yeah, I did get uh, my second screening machine. So two machines is always better. And they are constantly working when I'm mining downstairs. I did get a few more windmills. Just so everything can work. So... I have put inside uh, modules into most things except the stamp mills because well, stamp mills only give me the time pro uh, time bonus but nothing else and well, I was running really short on money I was literally having like two pounds in my pocket for a while then selling a little bit getting the government support and then being able to find and like buy a few more advanced upgrades and yeah in front of my house I have made a small walkway and small pier so it feels a bit more cozy I did use the 
uh, yellow color for the walkway and green for the sides. So I might later on get maybe some pots and make plants all around. And yeah, my two bloomers. This one has finished working. That's no good. I sort up like 100 more. Limited food at the moment, so. Can't go too far. Need to go and buy more. But yeah, so this is pretty much what I have done so far. And yeah, I was thinking that it's probably a good idea to take a look what this area was before and now after we have all moved in and made many 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 changes so so let me cue that so here we go let's see how much it differs from what it was before I mean, you can definitely see the differences where we have our roads and therefore I, I can't even go for the same height many places there's so many interesting buildings so it's so different we still do have few of the hills still present Ooh. so i hope that once we have skid stairs we can get those roads done as well i think the loading time is definitely getting longer based on all that yeah, the roads it's unique this hill has changed it has been dug out nicely and yeah even the forest here has changed significantly so now we have tunnels before we couldn't have such luxury and yeah here we are through the forests fantastic so i will make sure that we can see both of them yeah it's it's quite fun what has happened even on this street alone we do have many other streets like if you just look around here you can see that people make quite decent looking buildings and this person has like what three old red uh, redwood trees here it's like fantastic and on the other side also too so on this seat we have many of those Nice. Down the roads. Oh, what was down the roads? I've forgotten. Oh, someone has taken a few of those trees down. Okay. Okay. So here is Rosix's shop. I mean, his main residence and butcher shop. It's very interesting roof solution. So it's kind of looking like sawdust. It's it's kind of unique style. Not gonna say anything about it. Inside, oh, kind of basic furniture for the bedroom and also for the restroom. Living space is quite nice. The kitchen is quite significant as well. And Presix has been also handling everything in the Bricklink, which is the uh, brick manufacturing and uh, reselling factory. So that's where you can buy uh, all the colored bricks. And it seems that the, the amounts have been changed a bit, like gray bricks have now double. Blue bricks probably as well. Because, well, initially he only had uh, one of the small stockpiles uh, set up for each color and they can hold only 108 bricks so it was so confusing like for me and also for others at the beginning like why why such strange numbers and yeah on this side i understand this the regular brick creation so where the base base game bricks are made and then they are just being painted to different colors. And yeah, on the roof, you can see everything has second stockpile, but maybe not all colors have been set up. And it's kind of smart way to also color everything. So you have your floor 
in the right color, you know exactly what to expect. So yeah, quite well made projects in this area. There's someone else's shop. Nicely. Kirsch. Okay. So Kirsch is selling wood products. Like lumber dresses, stores, benches. At the moment, unfortunately, everything is sold out. But yeah, nice small shop. And next to it, of course, is the residence. Then. Ooh, big living space. That's quite nice. And then on the back side... Oh. He's definitely sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Quite nice. Not much to really criticize. Just good. Yeah, it's, it's nice that people are building different things. On this bridge we can have walls. Also good. So people will not ride off so easily. So, return to Moria. From last season we remember the big tunnel project the Moria. Now there is class making and all those things. So yeah, they all already have two tracks uh, here as well. Yeah, so all glass making is separated. Nice. So for the double speed bonus. And of course glass roof. How can you do without? And this is only for concrete making, it seems. Really nice. And yeah, the full complex is unique. <laughs> Nicely put all the tents next to each other. One with different side entrance. What's in here? Ah, this is access to the mine. Wow. It's huge mine. With all the smelting underground. And they also do have the big containers. It's good. Anything else hidden? No, it's just regular iron mine. And they also have really high stacks of iron. Because in most playthroughs, I see like the iron is maybe like three to six layers. And now it's like 15 layers instead. It's quite, quite good. A lot of mortared stones. Ooh. Sand, limestone for the glass making. Yeah. It's really, really good. And what is in this house? So this is the residential building. It's a nice big kitchen. Spacious living room. Another living room at the entrance. Another kitchen. The kitchen has a quite nice view. Yeah, they have plenty of the stone braziers. So they have a lot of natural light. It's also much warmer. So bathroom is quite good. Another bathroom. And then bedrooms have Quite decent beds. The other one even has the iron one. Rust iron beds. That's very nice. Balcony with two solar panels. Can't really criticize that. <laughs> it's like renewable energy. And what is this building then? So this one has research table. And anvil. Okay, so it's more like mechanics sites everything okay that's nice and downstairs is the basic engineering like road making i guess and yeah nice more mechanic stuff good 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 i do like it and this part Ah, this one has, of course, the assembly line as well. Excellent. So, a quite well made building. 
And yeah, another bridge that has some type of wall. And this wall is made with the arc pieces and gives also really nice look as it it kind of leaves empty space underneath. Kind of reminds London in some ways. There's quite unique building. I like the way how it looks. It's quite random, but at the same time good. So let's see. Inside, well, empty. Downstairs, there's well, nothing really. Table, chair, and bench. Yeah. And here is kitchen that has pretty much nothing. And bedroom that has a little bit. Yeah, so not much inside, but it does look cool. And the other building as well. So here is the shop. Shop is good. Downstairs area. Now where the kiln is. Okay. And here is the farming corner. Yeah, quite unique style. But yeah, let's go further this way. So what is up north from here? Just a few jungle places. I mean, this area has also improved a lot. I think I did my initial recording the other direction, so it's a little bit difficult to see. But yeah, there are more buildings in this corner. Tunnel. Ooh. Level change. They are now smelting level 6. That's lovely. <laughs> so what do we get with the smelting level 6? New skill. So we can of course do lavish. It's always good to have. And we can also make the chain link fence now so. If anyone needs, they can place the orders. This bridge also has the roofing parts. It does make it feel a bit more substantial. And yeah, bridge is nicely supported. So in the last few days, we have had a lot of chats uh, about people building without supports. Like even this building here. Like I'm quite sure Dalanara will be super unhappy to see that such a big uh, building is just standing in the air, pretty much. Whilst the wooden part of the building is supported, like you would expect. Because yeah, so many people have made uh, uh, in-air constructions and like I don't like them, Dalanara do doesn't like them because well, it's not realistic. Oh, we do know that the game is uh, not really critical about those things, but, but yeah. And here I saw that people also have made quite nice bridge construction. So I'm quite sure that this one will support a lot. And as you can see, it's nicely supported all the way. Goes all the way to the bottom of the sea. So, yeah. It's definitely good. We did discuss that Masa's construction is not really strong, but at least it's something. And something is always better than nothing. There's a lot of construction happening in this corner. So Kato is doing something fancy. And this is some type of garden area, it seems. A lot of fences like that. Edges. So I'm not sure if Qatar will make it into public gardens or private gardens, but it looks promising. So yeah, free parking, nice. But yeah, still we have a lot of uh, buildings with hewn logs and, uh, and 
mortar stone. So yeah, people are quite active still. When I logged in, we had like 20 people on, so, so it's quite good to see. Another set of interesting buildings. So this is housing complex. So Badger Maximus is the creator of this. So all the floors full of stuff. So living room, bedroom, everything is set. Of course, this kitchen looks really nice. many rooms they are not sorted like in a way that i would like i would probably want to do one floor per every single like just one type per floor a bit more organized but it's really fancy house i like it looks good then of course the shop next door is advanced upgrade table this is quite nice model so it's actually supposed to be teacher's desk, the model itself. And the downstairs is then the basic one. And the shop. Yeah, all good. I like it. What is happening over here? The way the light goes off it, it's like fire. <laughs> it's crazy. So shiny. But yeah, definitely you can have some special effects in game. So it seems that it comes from the internal lights that Mental Man has. And yeah, it makes it look like fire from some directions. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. It's really thinking that there's a new asset in game or something. Yeah, quite nice. But yeah, I think we have traveled around enough. We have many other places to visit in the future. So yeah. So you can just quickly go over this partially touched jungle. They'll well, get lost in the leaves nicely. Because the, the world is loading much slower now as too many changes have happened since. Yeah, big farm. We need a lot of farms. Because food is necessary for everyone. So this is university. Not university, the government. University is just part of it. Oh, it does load really, really slow today. At the same time, flying geese, super quick. So. so here we are, back on our land. So therefore, I'm not using the flying effects for any other purpose than just recording. But yeah, I hope this episode was interesting and I will see you in the next one. Bye.